Welcome back, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock fans. Last year we saw the introduction of Season 2 with Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Resurrection. And now we have another announcement from Slytherin Games. Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Season 2 will continue with the new DLC called the Ghost Fleet Offensive. Yes, Colonial and Cylon Warriors will go back into the Battlestar Galactica universe and allow us to command all our favourite ships and more. So, what are we going to expect? So they say with the new campaign there will be new ships and new munition types. Again, the Ghost Fleet Offensive will continue, right? The storyline that's based on Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Season 2. So the idea is to take the initiative and bring the fight to the Cylons, to the Toasters. At the end of Resurrection, spoiler alert if you haven't played it, get it if you, you still can. There's still a bit of time to get into this immersive story. We saw Lachesis was absurd and a new Cylon IL model came onto the scene. So, um, the new Ghost Fleet Offensive campaign. You'll be striking from the shadows and hitting hard behind enemy lines. And if you remember uh, from Blood and Chrome, there was a Ghost Fleet as well in that. Uh, so, hopefully, we're going to see some of those old ships and we're coming up to the, the sort of the Adama timeline. Quite possibly. The DLC will be accompanied by a free update called Fleet Admiral Update, which is downloadable for free for all owners of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, regardless of your platform. Now at the moment when I say platform, we're talking about PC. There's no, so far, there's only an update that the PC will be released first, and the Fleet Admiral Update and Ghost Fleet Offensive will be released on February the 25th. So, not long, right? And people who have signed up for the beta testing of this, we still haven't been given any codes or any downloads anyway, so they must be pretty confident on what they're putting in place. Um, and then maybe a, a little bit of time to fix some any glaring problems. So like I say, the Ghost Fleet Offensive and the Fleet Admiral update are due out on the PC, like I say, on February the 25th, and it will be released on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 a few weeks later. Now it says a few weeks later. We don't know how long that's going to be. No mention here yet of the Nintendo Switch. Now of course, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock hit that towards the late at a time of last year as well, 2019. Um, but so far we don't know if there's going to be an update for that. So what can we expect then? So we're going to expect a new campaign. The Ghost Fleet Offensive has a brand new 10 mission story campaign and relive the infamous Ghost Fleet Offensive, strike behind enemy lines and turn the tide of the war for the 12 colonies. So with that, it's definitely, I think, pointing to what was happening in Blood and Chrome. So you've got that sort of the young Adama era. Ips. Apparently we're going to see a Colonial Orion, which is a recon frigate. A light frigate which is equipped with an experimental suite of ECM jamming and stealth technologies. Hey, sneaky peeky. Available to protect itself and from hostile Dreda's sensors, the Orion can lay in wait, manoeuvre for the perfect torpedo angle and then speed away while its stealthy battery recharges. So, that's a recon frigate. And torpedoes it mentions. I'm not sure, we don't know if that's going to be multiple layouts or what, we don't know. Next up on the Colonial side will be the Colonial Defender. Again, we haven't seen any artwork or pictures of this yet, but it's a support specialist ship. Now this support ship of Gemini's origin, the Defender is a mobile marine detachment platform. Mm. Uh, the Raptors from the Defender can both bolster the marine defense of friendly ships that have been boarded and provide technical support to boost the strength of ally subsystems. Now, it's based on the ship design and used with permission of Todd Boyce. I'm not entirely sure who that is, I may Google it. Cylon Medusa. Okay, so on the Cylon side, we're going to see a ship, right? Uh, the Central Command Ship. Okay, a technologically advanced command ship lined with point defense canals and capable of overclocking the subsystems of multiple ships with its advanced transmission arrays. The Medusa pushes the capabilities of Cylon technology to its very limits. So, they're not giving much away for that really. Point defense and it can overclock its systems. How is it armed? 
It's a command ship. We don't know. Has it got squadrons? We don't know. Okay, let's talk about new Cylon munitions. Uh, the Cylon Cluster Nukes, a devastating multi-missile system capable of striking six individual targets with high-yield nuclear warheads. Good grief. How are we going to defend against that? You better get those point defense cannons on your battle stars ready. The Cylon Virus Mines, a short-range ECM field generator that both hacks and mises enemy squadrons. So we've definitely are getting into that cyber warfare. I know it sounds daft saying cyber warfare when we're talking about Battlestar Galactica. It's all about cyber warfare, really. But this is really, you know, you're getting into the point where the Ron Moore cyber attacks that those sort of munitions are coming in. So I think that's great. That really is good. And it's good to see that this game of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock is still getting the attention. I mean, to be fair, when it first came out, I thought, right, well, that's it. Very good. Thanks very much. We've played through the original missions. What a good um, strategy game. Brilliant. No one was expecting more downloadable content. And certainly for it not to go into Season 2. So, up next, the Ghost Fleet Offensive will be accompanied, as I mentioned, with a free update for all people who have owned... Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. So that's going to be on the Xbox, PlayStation 4 and PC. No mention of, of the Nintendo Switch yet. So the Fleet Admiral update contains a plethora, it says, a plethora of new features and improvements, including the Fleet Admiralty difficulty for the ultimate challenge against Cylon Command. So you're going to see a level above difficulty of what we had. It's, that's, that's going to be crazy stuff. So. Instead of Admiral Difficulty, you're going to have Fleet Admiral Difficulty. Okay. Updated officer profiles. All new artwork for your flagship officers. That's pretty good, because that was pretty dry, to be fair. Um, user interface enhancements as well. Uh, more quality of life improvements to the user interface, including additional information tooltips. Double click to select all ships of the same type. More squadron groups and more. Now, that's going to be quite good as well, because it did get a little bit tedious. Uh, cinematics browser to replay any intro or outro cinematic you've unlocked. Great stuff. Um, also, what's next? Select flagship. Select the ship in any campaign fleet you want as a flagship to get the most of your officer bonuses. Get all your crew with your bonuses on one ship and then give those toasters a good pounding. New loading screens. Thank God for that. How sick are we? of that original Battlestar Galactica, as pretty as it is, but it does get a bit tiresome, loading screen. I'm surprised this hasn't come in sooner. Um, to, be per to be perfectly fair, it should have, and, you know, now it's here. It's a little change, but, you know, it, it shows people are listening and, and thinking about it, you know, and the developers are listening to the community as well. Um, so that's five new loading screens there, and it says, and more. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? So what are you going to need? to run this. So really, you need Windows 8, 8.1 or 10, um, a two gigahertz processor or higher, and at least four gigabytes of RAM. Now graphics, you know, one gigabyte Nvidia GeForce 460. Hey, I mean, no doubt, like you can need a sound card, you need a gigabyte of storage as well, and an internet connection, okay, for multiplayer. However, what they say you should have is 8 gigabytes of RAM, a 2.5 gigahertz processor, let's face it, Windows 10, um, at least a 2 gigabyte ATI Radeon, or a GTX 770. So the 770 is quite an old card. That's about three three years old, really. A lot of people are still are, are rocking up with a, you know, the, the 10, 1060, 1070 cards. Like, I've got a 1070. I haven't upgraded yet. DirectX version 11, that's a given. Still, the storage is going to be the same. Um, a gigabyte and you need a good sound card and an internet connection. So let me know what you think in the comments if you've been following my Battlestar Galactica exploits over the years since it came out. Um, all the videos are actually on YouTube and are on the channel as well so check them out uh, and if you haven't already got it get the game and have a good playthrough as well. So just to recap then, new announcement from Slytherin Games, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, the Ghost Fleet Offensive will release on PC February the 25th, and with that will come the Admiral, the Fleet Admiral update to all people in the game free of charge. However, Ghost Fleet Offensive is going to be chargeable, and then it'll be released on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 a few weeks later, but as I mentioned, no news as yet of the Nintendo. Thanks for watching, check back for more Battlestar Galactica Deadlock videos in the series, check back 25th of February, I'll be having some gameplay videos out there as well. 
Thanks for watching. So save you all and get ready to launch those Vipers.